So welcome. Uh, this question says a three meter length of wire lays in the positive x direction. So let's draw that. Uh, it says the magnetic field is given by, so the magnetic field is here, and it's given by 3i plus 4j minus 2k Tesla. And it says the current of 5 amps flows through the wire in the positive x direction. So here's my current, 5 amps. And it asks me to find my magnetic force. What's the force on the wire? Um, and the relationship which comes to mind is that FB is equal to I L cross B where B is the magnetic field vector and L is a vector which goes from the beginning of the wire to the end of the wire in the direction of the current flow uh, and I is current of course so if I return to my diagram for a second I see that, oh, from the beginning of the wire to the end of the wire in the direction of the current flow, well, the length is 3 meters, but it's in the positive x direction, not the negative x direction, because the current flow is in the positive x direction. So it's going to be 3i plus 0j plus 0k meters is my L. L equals... So, let's do a cross product. So I have my i, and my j, and my k. And remember with cross products you have to have this order is, is really, really, really essential. If you put down b cross l, or you work it out as if it was b cross l, you will maybe have, you should have the same magnitude as the answer, but you'll be in the wrong direction. Um, and being in the wrong direction is the worst outcome. <laughs> so let's do it right. So it's L cross B. So I'll put down my L. And my L, of course, is 3, 0, 0. And then my B is 3, 4, minus 2. There's my B. So... Um, how do we do these cross products? We put our thumb over the first column. I can't put my thumb over the column so you'll see it, so I have to do it kind of like using highlighters. And then I cross multiply the other bits. Well, 0 times minus 2 is 0, and then subtract from that 0 times 4 is 0, so I get 0 minus 0 i. That's my first term. And then I've got to subtract from this. this got to remember to put this subtraction sound sign in here as the operator. And then you move your thumb. And rather than covering over that first column, you cover over the second column. You know, when you're dealing with i, you cover over the i. When you're dealing with j, you cover over the j. When you're dealing with k, you're going to cover over the k. So now we cross multiply now, and that's going to be minus 6 minus 0. That's going to be j. And then we put down our plus sign as our operator. And we move our thumb. And we go to the third column, and we say, oh, that's 12 minus 0. Okay. And this equals L cross B. But I want 
well, let's let's tidy this up a bit. Zero i minus minus mech plus plus six j plus twelve k uh, equals l cross b. But I want i l cross b, and so I look up here and I see my current is five amps, so FB, which equals I L cross B, is equal to 5 times this. So 0I plus 30J plus 60K. And the units, well, it's a force, so that's going to be in newtons. So there's my answer. And let's see, 0, 30, 60, positive, positive, it's, it's this guy here. And if I look at these, these answers, these are, are kind of common mistakes. And the first one is, uh, somebody got as far as, um, they did the cross product, and they did the cross product right, but then they, they forgot the fact that it was a vector answer. And so they just said, oh, 6 plus 12 is 18. And then the next one, um, they multiplied that by 5. They remember there's a current in there, but they, again, they thought they were coming out with a scalar. And then in C, uh, they forgot about their, their current. So they effectively said FB is equal to L cross B, uh, which is not correct. And then in the last one, uh, they did the wrong order. They did uh, B cross L. Um, and so they ended up with the wrong direction. So there we have it. It's a nice, it's a nice little question. It's, it's cross products. In this section, we're using cross products an awful lot. Um, so it's really advisable to get very comfortable with it. And there we have it.